We all know that those hospital workers on the front lines and emergency rooms really have been and continue to go the extra mile. Yeah, tonight our Kevin Rader caught up with a nurse who really saved the day when she showed up for her first and her only COVID-19 test. Teresa Saplinski has worked as an emergency room nurse at Methodist Hospital for almost 30 years. She says even though the days are harrowing, they've not been overwhelming. Emotionally, no different than coming to work any other day. This is what we do. You know, we're, we're an emergency department. We are here to take care of whatever comes in, and this is just what happens to be coming in right now. So She says Methodist Hospital has a high success rate in treating COVID-19, and she attributes that to preparation. I don't think it's luck or fortune. I think it's preparation. I think we shut the state down and we told people to stay home and I think people stayed home. So she was surprised recently when she was randomly selected by the State Department of Health to be tested for a study. Went down to Franklin to the testing site and pulled up and the gentleman was explaining that the person that was supposed to do their swabbing had not shown up. So I was there about 10 o'clock, they opened about nine. So he had turned away several people. Since she helps administer anywhere from 40 to 60 tests a day, she just decided to volunteer to do it some more. I went to be swabbed and I turned it into the swabber. So, and then when I uh, when they were all finished, I actually swabbed myself. But she knows better than anyone that can be a very temporary thing. I tested negative on Saturday. Um, I could easily go back next Saturday and test positive because you know people can be exposed at any time, and you may be negative one day and positive the next. She says the important thing is to wear a mask when going out and stay away from large groups.